Hey everybody, it's Joe Hackman with joesgonsocial.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new Tagcedo. Uh, and Tagcedo is basically a website that allows you to create a tag cloud of almost anything. It's actually pretty cool and it's uh, based on Silverlight, Microsoft Silverlight, which is um, it's probably the most interesting use of Silverlight that I've seen so far. So basically, to start with you just go to tagcedo.com and you choose something, either a Twitter ID or a URL, that kind of thing that you want to that you want to create your tag cloud out of. So I'm going to choose um, HackmanJ, which is my Twitter ID, and then I'm not going to mess with the fonts or anything. I'm going to go a little uh, serendipitous here and just submit it. And then once it uh, gets to the next screen, this is basically creating your Tagcedo cloud you'll see that there's a number of different options and I'm going to show you a few of the uh, what I thought were kind of the cooler options um, that were involved so as soon as this refreshes here we should be in business and now my tag cloud has now been loaded for my Twitter so this is just kind of a uh, a lump here with nothing nothing too fancy so if you go into the uh, shape menu you can actually choose some cool shapes I kinda of like the um, they had a fish shape in here that was pretty cool and a couple other ones uh, let's choose one here let's go with let's go with a star just for for grins here so basically this is now refreshing so now it's been sort of this tag cloud has been redrawn in the form of a star uh, you can actually do which which is kind of interesting you can um, respin the color you can respin the theme so you can try different themes uh, until you find one that you like that you're looking for um, or you can also go in there and actually go into the theme menu and, and make adjustments there you can adjust the font or you can respin the font so it's kind of nice it's kind of fun to play around with it and see what it comes up with. They come up with some kind of interesting things at times. And um, I'm pretty satisfied with that layout. It's kind of funky. Let me just, <clears throat> I'm going to respin the color, actually, the, the theme. Well, that's almost a little too plain. That's That one's good enough. So I'm going to show you actually how you would go ahead and add this to a WordPress blog. And the reason I'm going to show you WordPress is because basically this doesn't work really well. The, most of the embed functions with this do not work with WordPress. I tried almost every option. And you you really have to save it as a web page to get it to work with WordPress right now. Your, your mileage may vary. Maybe you'll learn something different than I did. But I'm going to just call this my uh, star cloud. Joe here testing for my YouTube video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate some URLs for me, and it's also going to generate some iframe code. What you want to use and what you want to do with WordPress is you want to take this iframe code, you want to go into the HTML editing tab on the, uh, the WordPress post that you're creating or the page that you're creating, and then you basically just paste that into the HTML tab, save it, Bear in mind, if you go back and forth, if you go back to the um, to the visual view and then back to the HTML source, it'll be gone. So you basically have to save it, and you kind of have to stay in the HTML page. You'll see what I mean when you get there, but just a word word of caution there. You'll have to be on the lookout for that. Another kind of cool thing about it is, let's say in your post that you also want to just include a, um, a a link to the actual. Sorry. It's a little hard in the Silverlight UI to copy and paste things, so I'm using Control C on this, and then I'll show you what I mean. But there's also, uh, as I mentioned, there's other links here, and in this case, it's a link to a thumbnail, so you can use that image. So you'll probably want to keep a record of this because uh, you're going to want to have access to the the URL, the complete URL, the URL for the player, and also just kind of play around with those things. And uh, but. The other thing you want to do with your iframe code when you paste it into WordPress is depending on the width of your blog. In my case, I go to up to about 640 width because that's where my blog displays best. That's what my basic content width is. 
So you, on my case, I would change it to 640, and then play around with the height a little bit, and you'll get different looks. But uh, you can make that adjustment actually on your WordPress page and use the preview function. So I hope you found this helpful. It's a little longer than I intended, uh, but uh, hopefully this has been good information. This is something you can use, and I think that uh, this is a pretty cool little uh, tag cloud and a nice use of Microsoft Silverlight. So my hat's off to the uh, creator of Tagsito. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more videos, I'm Joe's Gone Social on YouTube. That's just youtube.com slash Joe's Gone Social. My blog is joesgonesocial.com. I'm also HackmanJ on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.